Moment Factory is a multimedia studio, and what we do is basically we design experiences for uh, the entertainment industry. We work in airports, theme parks, public spaces. The work range is pretty broad. A lot of our work is also in concerts, and you probably have seen some of our designs touring, working with Muse, Childish Gambino, Madonna, Jay-Z, Arcade Fire, Billie Eilish, Halsey. Epic mentioned this opportunity to develop the new DMX plugin for Unreal Engine. This seemed very interesting for us as designers for the live industry to develop the tool not only for our needs, but also to help Epic bridge the gap from the physical world of the live events to the digital world. DMX was invented before JB was born. It used to be mainly for stage lighting equipments. Uh, nowadays, you can pretty much control whatever software or hardware you want, as long as it supports DMX protocol as an input. Thanks to DMX, you can also program a whole show inside of Unreal by using those data streams. So you can ask a moving light to move, change colors, turn on or turn off before even stepping inside that venue. For me, I think the biggest challenges in a live event is the number of moving parts and often the time frame that we have to execute. You have to consider the set the lights, the sound, the pyro, the automation, choreographies, makeup, costume, it can go really far. So it's the more the tool will give you, the better you'll have an idea of what kind of achievement you'll get. By using Unreal now, we have a single standard in-house that we can have all the different departments work in. So lighting is going to work inside the Unreal file at the same time. 3D modelers, artists, animators, everybody's all uh, part of the same project and they're still seeing what everybody's doing in real time, which is really great. Pre-Unreal Engine, what was really missing was the quality of the texture and the quality of the set you can build, you know, mixed with all uh, the equipment that is available in the entertainment industry for the live events. We've been quite impressed with what we're seeing inside of Unreal. Beam quality, gobos, and just lighting up an environment. There's currently a couple of different fixture types based off real world fixtures. The fun part is that you can build fixtures to do exactly what you would like them to do. It's always really difficult to share our lighting ideas or whatever we're seeing in our heads to a client. Now that we have a tool like Unreal, it really brings the client closer to the creation experience. The client really has the ability to participate in real time with whatever we're developing. They can have a full picture of what are we actually selling them. As show designers, we're always trying to push the boundaries of innovation. Unreal Engine is already one of the best tools out there. Our goal with this project was really to develop a tool that really suits our needs for the future. Not only show like the design to our clients, but also create these virtual show, bring that virtual show into the real world, and maybe go back to the virtual show after. And you're having like an encore as you're getting home, an extra song. And that can be linked to a secret performance two days after that is happening somewhere else. So I think there's a lot of doors you can open. I think our mind is about to be blown by the user base of Unreal. And I'm very keen to see what crazy things people would come up with. Mm -hmm.